Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr., slash KS slash KASHSS, was born on January 17, 1942, in Louisville, Kentucky, 25, he had one brother. He was named after his father, Cassius Marcellus Clay Sr., who had a sister and four brothers, 26, 27, and who himself was named in honor of the 19th century Republican politician and staunch abolitionist Cassius Marcellus Clay, also from the state of Kentucky. Clay's father's paternal grandparents were John Clay and Sally and Clay. Clay's sister Eva claimed that Sally was a native of Madagascar, 28, he was a descendant of slaves of the antebellum South, and was predominantly of African descent, with Irish, 29, and English family heritage, 30, 31, Ali's maternal great. Grandfather, Abe Grady, emigrated from Ennis, County Clare, Ireland, 32, 33, DNA testing performed in 2018 showed that, through his paternal grandmother, Ollie was a descendant of the former slave Archer Alexander, who had been chosen from the building crew as the model of a freed man for the Emancipation Memorial, and was the subject of abolitionist William Greenleaf Elliott's book, The Story of Archer Alexander, From Slavery to Freedom, 34, like Ollie, Alexander fought for his freedom, 35. His father was a sign and billboard painter, 25, and his mother, Odessa O'Grady Clay, 1917-1994, was a domestic helper. Although Cassius Sr. was a Methodist, he allowed Odessa to bring up both Cassius Jr. and his younger brother, Rudolf Rudy Clay, later renamed Rahman Ali, as Baptists. 36, Cassius Jr. attended Central High School in Louisville. He was dyslexic, which led to difficulties in reading and writing, at school and for much of his life, 37. Ali grew up amid racial segregation. His mother recalled one occasion when he was denied a drink of water at a store, they wouldn't give him one because of his color. That really affected him. 9. He was also strongly affected by the 1955 murder of Emmett Till, which led to young Clay and a friend taking out their frustration by vandalizing a local rail yard. His daughter Hannah later wrote that Ollie once told her, nothing would ever shake me up, more, than the story of Emmett Till. 38, 39. Amateur Career Cassius Clay and his trainer Joe E. Martin, January 1960 Clay was first directed toward boxing by Louisville police officer and boxing coach Joe E. Martin, 40, who encountered the 12-year-old fuming over a thief's having taken his bicycle. He told the officer he was going to whoop the thief. The officer told Clay he had better learn how to box first. 41. Initially, Clay did not take up Martin's offer, but after seeing amateur boxers on a local television boxing program called Tomorrow's Champions, Clay was interested in the prospect of fighting. 42. He then began to work with trainer Fred Stoner, whom he credits with giving him the real training, eventually molding my style, my stamina, and my system. For the last four years of Clay's amateur career he was trained by boxing cutman Chuck Bodak, 43. Clay made his amateur boxing debut in 1954 against local amateur boxer Ronnie O'Keefe. He won by split decision. 44s. He went on to win six Kentucky Golden Gloves titles, two National Golden Gloves titles, an Amateur Athletic Union national title, and the light heavyweight gold medal in the 1960 Summer Olympics in Rome. 45 Clay's amateur record was 100 his amateur record was 100 wins with 5 losses. Ali said in his 1975 autobiography that shortly after his return from the Rome Olympics, he threw his gold medal into the Ohio River after he and a friend were refused service at a White's, only restaurant and fought with a white gang. The story was later disputed, and several of Ali's friends, including Bundini Brown and photographer Howard Bingham, denied it. Brown told Sports Illustrated writer Mark Cram, Honky sure bought into that one. Thomas Hauser's biography of Ali stated that Ali was refused service at the diner, but that he lost his medal a year after he won it. In 46, Juan Ali received a replacement medal at the Georgia Dome during the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta, where he lit the torch to start the games. Clay made his amateur boxing debut in 1954 against local amateur boxer Ronnie O'Keefe. He won by split decision. 
44s, he went on to win six Kentucky Golden Gloves titles, two National Golden Gloves titles, an Amateur Athletic Union National title, and the light heavyweight gold medal in the 1960 Summer Olympics in Rome. 45 Clay's amateur record was 100 his amateur record was 100 wins with five losses. Ali said in his 1975 autobiography that shortly after his return from the Rome Olympics, he threw his gold medal into the Ohio River after he and a friend were refused service at a White's only restaurant and fought with a white gang. The story was later disputed, and several of Ollie's friends, including Bundini Brown and photographer Howard Bingham, denied it. Brown told Sports Illustrated writer Mark Cram, Honky sure bought into that one. Thomas Hauser's biography of Ollie stated that Ollie was refused service at the diner, but that he lost his medal a year after he won it. A 46 won Ali received a replacement medal at the Georgia Dome during the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta, where he lit the torch to start the Games.